Well, hello there, my dear Petroheads. Welcome to another episode of Dr. Karlov. Just stick around if you want to know everything about the Autolicious, the place where I love to work Derby Classics, and some kick ass finger licking good Bavarian beauties along the way. This will be a good one. Trust me, just stick around. And as soon uh, when I've said it, uh, the Autolicious, Derby Classics, all those classic beauties in, um, in, in one episode might be a little bit too much. So let's, um, let's find out. Uh, I keep my iPhone uh, rolling and uh, let's see if it will be a sequel or not. So, the mighty Autolicious. Um, nothing stock about this BMW 2002, who started its life as a BMW 2002 TII, uh, before previous owners, and as a Pièce de la Résistance, me, myself and I, um, got our hands dirty on it. Um, if you like uh, original cars and uh, you um, hate that people chop up cars, please turn away from this video because your stomach will have some tight knots in it. So um, yeah, this, this, this is for uh, uh, modified car lovers. So, okay, let's carry on. Okay, tires are off. Uh, just gonna change the brake fluid. Um, oh, Derby Classics. Shout out to them. Uh, the interior of Autolicious. Uh, Autolicious, by the way, performed flawlessly during um, uh, a three-day trek, uh, trek week weekend, Touristvaarten. Uh, did some 40-ish laps. Didn't count, but yeah, acted flawlessly and uh, no issues just regular maintenance for my safety and the safety of others so interior yeah what what can i say just uh, took out a lot of the interior saved me a lot of weight and uh, put in a, a, a cage a vigas cage it's a uh, bolt in for my safety so added some weight in gold for that uh, also safety watch the five panel mirror i can see all the fast porsches coming up style strecker from behind because closing speeds at that part of the track is insane so i can spot them way ahead so that i um, yeah, get out of their way and uh, yeah again everybody safe and happy there and all thumbs up uh, as you can see what can you tell about a classic car it's it's just a steering wheel three pedals and some dials and that's it you have no um, electronic nannies like abs uh, esp uh, no, it's, it's, it's just your right foot, your left foot, your butt, and hopefully a big brain, um, giving you a lot of pleasure. Um, yeah, so basic, basic, and that's why I love these cars. Um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm really becoming a fan of classic cars. So, oh, delicious. Uh, three gauges, uh, yeah, speed. Yeah, look at, look at that. Well, it's a bit optimistic, but well, you get there. Uh, my car revs to about 7,500 RPMs. I can see what time it is. Uh, I have the, uh, this is the oil pressure. This is the oil temperature. And this is water temp temperature. And, um, oh yeah, the only electronic thing I add, but not for performance, just to check everything out. And, uh, 
to view ratio meter so that way I can uh, see if the carburetors are running too lean or not so if, if the mixture is perfect um, that's the only thing um, a nice a let's see AKG shifter AKG yeah you see it's there AKG motorsport camera yeah uh, AKG, AKG shifter from uh, USA uh, nice high just where I like it so no mischiefs there it's a little bit start to become a little bit sloppy it's not because of the AKG shifter but of the bushing in between the Catrak 235 close ratio gearbox a dog leg gearbox it's very rare and um, yeah uh, to um, Oh, the, the bushing in between has a little bit, uh, yeah, some signs of wear, but until the end of the season, I can manage with that. So not for maintenance today. Uh, let's see, uh, just uh, some uh, Sparco bucket seats, four point harnesses, also Sparco. And yeah, it's just a handbrake. Nothing more to tell. Um, here in Holland and in Germany, we uh, yeah it, it can be cold so i have the heater box installed and for the rest i have a special switch where i can activate the fan manually so if, if i get in traffic at the end of the nurburgring um, at um, gantry i already turn on the switch so that my car starts to cool right away um this is the part where i go to the to the back of the car to uh, show you my fuel pump setup this is the switch switch uh, up switch middle is nothing and switch down means i have um, two fuel pumps because let's go to the back you you have seen this yeah it looks yeah nice oh there's a, a fire extinguisher there, just some small bags for your items. And yeah. Yeah. No electronics. There. This is brilliant. Yeah. And no aircon needed. Wow. Uh, the back. Dual fuel pump system. And yeah oh, there's my spare set of rims and tires i run the uh, nanking ar1s great tire i use them on all my cars uh, dual fuel pump setup from facet um yeah i can uh, operate them from within uh, the from the dashboard uh, if one fails i switch to the other so i don't get stranded and uh, they are connected to the Mal Passi analog fuel pressure regulator. Uh, I'm running a carburetors, I will show you in a, in a moment. Uh, dual Webbers, and they uh, need a, a low fuel pressure. I forgot the numbers, I think it's about 3 psi or something. It's, it's, it's very low, but um, yeah, uh, forgive me if I. Uh, switch up uh, mix up my numbers so but it's 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 uh, set up perfectly uh, and you can see a glimpse also of my suspension and the strut bar yeah i can give you a sneak preview but uh, i think ah anyway let's do the suspension okay for suspension i'm running I don't know if, yeah, if the lighting is good. Yeah, you can see it. A full blown Intrex system. Oh, uh, no, I don't want to show you the engine. It's just I uh, want to show you the camper plate, but it's Intrex. It's uh, Intrex with the ARC. It's, uh, yeah, point NL. So if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. Uh, this is the black gold from Holland. Our pride and joy. This is and th this transforms the car at the Nürburgring to a magical flying carpet. It's really, really, really planted. 
and yeah, the, uh, if you have driven there, you know that the curbs are like Balinese um, sidewalks. They are that high, but if you drive over them, the, it it just flattens them. It like like they aren't even there, and the car is not unsettled for uh, just one moment. So, really great, really great. Uh, yeah, shout out to Intrex too. Um, at the back, same. In tracks and heavily fortified because uh, I'm not uh, using the um, the normal springs. It's just up to this, boys. And uh, yeah, I uh, it has a big rebound. Very important for the the Nordschleife. So, in tracks, Google it. Yeah, you see it. Correctly, the brakes. What? Rear brakes? Uh, do you have drum brakes at the Nordschleife? Yeah, why not? Um, in the front. These are light cars, so less than 1000 kilos. Uh, in the front, I have upgraded my brakes because it used to be a single uh, brake disc. Yeah, solid brake disc, no ventilation there. So I upgraded it. It's a well-known upgrade for BMW 2002s. Uh, the combination, the brake discs of a um, E21, uh, BMW E21 323. And uh, the calipers are from Volvo. It's from the Volvo 240, 243. Uh, you can Google it. It's also a well-known modification. And at the uh, Nordschleife, I'm running it with uh, Hawk brake pads. I'm um, uh, running the Hawk Blues. And in combination with uh, drum brakes, but the upgraded drum brakes, because originally BMW 2002 TII had the uh, 23 centimeters drum brakes, and these are. Uh, 25 centimeters and they are from the BMW 2002 Turbo. Why? Because uh, the balance now between the front and the back is perfect. Just perfect. If you have the smaller ones, the front breaks just a little bit too much and now with these, perfect. I don't need a, a bias valve at all. It's, it stays completely stable even under uh, heavy braking, uh, all, all uh, four tires uh, lock up simultaneously because in this um, car you don't have ABS. Um, braided, steel braided brake lines uh, on all four corners. And you see a glimpse of the, uh, I always forget the name, the, these things, st uh, st stabilizator we call it in Holland. St stabilizers, um, put, uh, please put it in the comments, the, the word for this. It's from Island Engineering, it's just uh, a bit um, more, it gives a lit little bit more rigidity, makes the car planted, yeah, you know, car is a sum of its parts. Uh, no uh, brake cooling except from the nose, an open hole uh, here. Mm. I, I, I haven't had a reason to put uh, the, um, the brake ducts, so it, it, it's, it's cool enough. So maybe in future, I don't know, um, it makes the car comp a little bit com more complicated. I think life should be simple, like cars. Um, yeah, oh, I see already a lot of time. So, um, brief prepared uh, that uh, derby classics will have a separate video and all these beauties will have a separate video too because yeah this is in the evening uh, i will sleep in my van tonight because it's so busy and my house is like 120 kilometers away so uh, i will have to start again tomorrow and um, so also uh, pizza i will have to order so i will talk quick Let's see where, yeah, that's me. Uh, I will start to talk and then forget what the subject was. Uh, interior I did, brakes I did, suspension I did. Mm. 
engine, yummy. B holes. Sorry for the Beatles, Beatles sounds for, of the trike there. But any game, that's a nice sound too. But nice sound, glorious sound coming from these trumpets behind the curtain. I have a sneak preview. Aww. Yeah, it's uh, the horns from the gods, uh, induction sound from a um, 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 natural aspirated carburetor engine gives you goosebumps every time you get out there. Uh, this was a 2002 BMW 2002 TII. The engine is a four cylinder two liter engine. The famous uh, BMW and oh, it's very narrow here. The famous BMW M10 block. Yeah, this uh, uh, I, I did a lot of things about it, uh, more on that later. But uh, this has uh, about 190 horsepower. But the M10 block, the exact one, and I've seen the engine, is the most powerful developed uh, Formula One engine to date. Uh, in the 80s, Google it, Jack Brabham uh, had uh, developed an engine. This was on this block, uh, more than 1000 horsepower. I don't know exactly how much, but if you Google it, you will find out. Anyway, uh, a lot of work went into the engine, uh, did everything, uh, you ported the thing, um, the Kubel, uh, how you call it, the crankshaft, yeah, crankshaft uh, is balanced, lightened, um, the flywheel is lightened, uh, the, um, the exhaust is ported, the, um, the camshaft, uh, I think you call it, is a Schrik, it's a 304, the compression is very high compression, uh, I think if you calculate it right, it's like 13 point something to one. <laughs> and um, it's it's a really strong engine. Uh, the only thing I did electronically, it's a bit of a cheat, but it makes your car um, yeah running more smooth and with idling when it's cold. Uh, this is an electronic ignition. It's a one two three uh, tune ignition. Google it. Um, you can uh, put in the computer. Um, uh, advanced uh, timing and, and stuff like that to um, for various uh, rev ranges so it makes your car run smooth and through all the rev ranges so I can imagine that um, the purists will hate this but uh, yeah I don't care it's my car it runs uh, runs great one runs strong uh, yeah, the the, the well-known um, yeah, this 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 is all the all, only good bits, only good bits. Cars are some of its parts, and um, just no, uh, just small upgraded cooling, nothing special there. Uh, the uh, thermostat uh, they normally they have a uh, thermostat for eighty degrees. I'm running a thermostat for seventy uh, degrees to keep it cool at a uh, hot Nordschleife. Today is also is especially hot at the workshop. Engine, yeah, double Weber carburetors, 45, I forgot to mention that. Um, it's quite thirsty, but you get a lot of love back. Oh yeah, the camber plate from the Intrax. You see here, original plate, but that's now now you shoot. It's it's like a BMW 2002 Ti. Yeah, Gesamtgewicht, Gewicht, yeah, but we weighed it and it's just slightly less than thousand kilo in this way with, 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 without me of course without me and I'm yeah I'm, I'm a, a lean mean driving machine I just weigh uh, 80 kilos or something less so uh, yeah with uh, almost 200 horsepowers and um, and semi slicks and uh, yeah, the, 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 the good brakes you can imagine uh, why uh, my driving videos uh, are looking the way they, they uh, are the way they are. This is an insane car. Uh, yeah, I'm, 
I expect I will never sell it. No, I, I, I love it. I love it. Um, okay, uh, what I did what I got. Oh yeah, the, the, the underside, I will show you the differential and the gearbox. And yeah, you can, can see the, some of the suspension parts. Uh, yeah, nice addition. This is not a track car. It's, um, yeah, it, it, this is not a race car, it's a track car. So how nice that I have a sunroof in the end of the lap when it's totally hot inside. I can do this. Hang on, watch it. Oh, <laughs> the light is on. Hey, I can open the roof and have fresh air that way. So, yeah, not your average race car. Your modern race cars, the guys are all jealous. So, um, yeah, the car is the sum of its parts. And a big part of the emotion comes from the exhaust. It's a full stainless Martelius exhaust, including its uh, um, exhaust manifold. It's stainless, it's very loud. You will have to wear earplugs if you have a cheap helmet. So uh, yeah, but it gives uh, some pops and bangs too. I like it, I'm the biggest kid of them all. Uh, differential, very special differential. Um, I have the Ketraak. Two, three, five close ratio gearbox. Originally, this car has a differential uh, 3.64. But downhill on the Fuchsrohre, you get up very high in the revs very quickly. And yeah, if you miss shift there, then it's game over for your valves. So to make uh, the um, shifting points more in line with the nature of the track, I have built a special differential. I had it built, not, not I built myself. Uh, I got it from out of Portugal. A guy uh, in, 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 the, in the BMW scene makes special differentials. And to my order, I ordered a differential, a 345. So it's a longer diff and now for the Nordschleife, in my opinion, in combination with the uh, 235 five speed dog leg gearbox, it's perfect. Uh, I can also imagine with this differential 345, three, I can put in um, a four speed uh, uh, gearbox and I will have the same result and big smiles. Uh, specially built uh, transaxles because Nordschleife kills everything North life is the killer of all parts and this is extra extra durable and it, last year i had some problems with the original the, the stock ones and uh, now i haven't got any any issues at all very strong uh, also the stabby thing the blue one from island engineering great 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 part and um, yeah well that's about it. So you, you hear the sheep next door. I think they will get some food and I think I will order a pizza too and do some work afterwards. Yeah, maybe there is some things to show over here. Oh yeah. This also is an upgrade, very important part. I'm very happy with it. Oh, and the special um, engine mounts. They're from a guy from Germany. Uh, I, I, forgot, I, I forgot the name of the part, sorry. But uh, you might recognize it. They're great, they're great by them. Um, tell them you got it from a friend. Uh, the oil pan, uh, I've welded in some bevels because of the Nordschleife, on the heavy braking, my oil slushed all the way to the front and the oil pump is about here. So I got oil pressure uh, problems, but this was the first track day where I used the, the, the new setting and 
worked flawlessly. No uh, fuel pressure uh, uh, issues at all. The oil stayed nice around the, uh, the oil pump. So you don't run the risk when you are revving up to 7,500 RPMs and, and your oil is in the front of here at, uh, at uh, Metzgersveld, no, uh, Metzgersveld or, or Wersheim, and uh, you see, uh, or Adenauer Forst, you, see, you saw the, the light come up uh, every time. So that, uh, that is uh, a thing of the past. Uh, you see the nice Martavius exhaust manifolds. And, oh, I see some maintenance there. I think I have it somewhere in the video. This I hit uh, at Hatzenbach. I clipped uh, the curb a little bit too and uh, with too much enthusiasm. So I heard an aluminium kind of sound tick and I thought, well, I have to check out this clip. So yeah, okay. Um, yeah, just uh, watch the video by the way. Uh, we'll do it in the, um, in the comments. A nice lap of this weekend if you have if you haven't seen them all uh, yeah steel braided brake lines I got that and yeah for the rest it's just no power steering just me myself and hi so there you have it I quick check quick check uh, yeah, turned out to be a long video, so I will make a sequel on Derby Classics. We are located in based in the Netherlands, in the Netherlands, and uh, I will do a sequel on, on all the nice cars we, we work on. I will give you a sneak preview. This will be finished this month for our uh, yeah. Belgium client. Look, look that ass. Look that ass. It's a matchbox car. It's a um, yeah. It comes from Japan. That yeah. Steering wheel over there. Sound deafening. In about a month. No. This month. Uh, in a couple of weeks, it will be finished. Nice power. Okay. That was a sneak preview for one of the next videos and uh, yeah after my pizza and after i have um, put some new brake fluid in the, my otolicious i will sleep in my hotel tonight okay uh, so nice of you to if, if um, yeah the video is very long so if um, you are here with me still I want to thank you for your uh, yeah for your patience and uh, stick around uh, watch out for the next video on derby classics and the beauties okay that's it for me uh, have a good evening carlo out